when we look to uh, solve this equation, what we want to do is condense all the logs on the left side into one single log and the, on the right side into its own one single log. So we have our common log with a common base 10. And any factors or any values that came from a positive log are factors of the numerator. So x plus 4 is in the numerator. And any values that came from a negative log are factors in the denominator. So x is in the denominator. The right side can stay as it is. And here you have two logs set equal. And so all you need to do is equate to the values inside the logs. So we know that x plus 4 over x has to equal x plus 2. And we just solve this equation. It's a proportion, so we can cross multiply to solve. Get x plus x or times x plus 2 is equal to 1 times x plus 4. Expand. We distribute the x through, giving us x squared plus 2x is equal to x plus 4. It's a quadratic equation with multiple terms, including a variable, so we move everything to the left. Subtract an x from both sides and subtract 4 from both sides. Gives you x squared plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. When you look at this, you look to see are there any um, factors of negative 4 whose sum is positive 1? The answer is no. So we're going to have to use either quadratic formula or completing the square to solve this. I'm going to go ahead and complete the square. I have my x squared plus x. I'm going to move my constant over to the other side. I'm going to complete the square, take half of my first degree terms coefficient. Half of 1 is 1 half. I'm going to square that, giving me 1 fourth to add to both sides. And when I do, it allows me to rewrite the left side as x plus this number, half of the first degree terms coefficient. And that's equal to 4 in terms of fourths is 16 over 4. So I get a total of 17 fourths here. Extract the square root. x plus 1 half is equal to, take into consideration the positive and negative root of 17 over 2. Subtract a 1 half from both sides, write that in front, so negative 1 plus or minus root 17 over 2. So my exact answer looks like this. And because we have a log base x, or log of x, I know I can't have a negative number here, so the negative 1 minus root 17 over 2 is extraneous. Negative 1 plus root 17 over 2 will be my solution. And if I put it in decimal form, get negative 1 plus the square root of 17. I'll put that in decimal form here and divide by 2. And I get my answer 1.562.